Hello there and welcome to a review of Legos Up House. Now this is set 43217, come out I think the 1st of April this year. It's got 598 pieces, two minifigures, I'd say three minifigures if you include this moulded piece here. All exclusive to this set as we haven't got any of the other Lego sets from Up. It's £50 or €55 Euros and $60 which makes it just over 8 pence per piece, about 10 cents 9 cents if you're working in euros and i think that is quite a good price though now coming towards black friday coming towards christmas i'm starting to see this set for a lot lot cheaper especially in the uk here if you've got a tesco near you definitely check it out as you can pick it up for nearly 30 pound and that is a very good value for this set we'll be taking a look at it in a second though before we get to the house i'd just like to show off the few minifigures you've got you can see here the backpack just looks packed it is a packed backpack i guess but just like in the movie you've got a load of just random items you've got a mug you've got binoculars you've got this can here you've got frying pan fork and it really has everything you need and you can even see on the front of the torso all of the scout badges that he has collected i love the hat how it's not only angled back but also has his hair coming out of it and I have put Carl in the house. And of course, that's not all that this set comes with. You do get, I think it's Doug from the movie, which is the dog with the collar that makes him able to talk. And the mold for him is very good. The collar is very detailed. If my camera will focus, you can see just how much detail they've put into this minifigure. And it also comes with a squirrel, which is a very nice reference because... Throughout the movie, the dog is distracted by all these squirrels. So this is a little stand for outside the house. You can see it's got the fence post and it's got the post box here, though. My fiance did point out it doesn't have the hand prints, which would have been great to have got just one piece with the hand prints printed on. But you've got a box. You've also got where the balloons are all filled up and a few extra balloons and the rest of them are situated on the top of the house. So. Perhaps before we check out the house and have a look at the interior, we just got to have a look at the balloons because there are so many. It is 360 this balloon build here and if I can safely pop them off, you can see just how many balloons are here. In fact, let me count them real quick. About 25 balloons are on the top here and you also have the five down there. So you get 30 balloons with this set, which is not a little number by any means and I think for the purpose of the review, I'll leave these 25 balloons over here so you can still see them, but it just allows us to focus on the house. You can see the detail on the outside. You've got this little detailing on the roof. You've also got the rooster just at the top, and this is the chimney that actually runs the whole way down the build. So if you wanted to build a back to this house, you've got to make way for this piece. It is only two studs wide, but... They haven't centered it with studs so it can be a bit complicated if you're building it yourself but the house itself has all the detail you'd expect from the animation you can see these little details all around the window and you've even got the ledges on the outside you've got this little pump on the front here which is just held on by the one stud and the door has it's a sticker both sides but it still has so much detail you've got the three locks on the outside and if you compare just around the door You've got all the interior locks as well, so be sure to put the door on the right way, the right way round, the right way round, the right way round. There are a few stickers. I didn't think it was too much of a problem because they are for all the paintings and that, and it's not the unnecessary details like the fighter tank that I'll always bring up. But even the side of the house has so much detail, and the only sticker on the front of the house is the door, which is lovely when it's on display. You're not really too fast with the sticker on the door, especially as it only adds the detail that they couldn't have molded. And perhaps they could have printed it, but it would have just driven the price up for the exclusive piece. So take a look on the inside. You can see a bit of what I mean with the stickers, all the photos going around. You can see there Carl and his partner and even a few of the newer ones from the end of the movie. So it is nice to see. That they've included all these details even though it's just half of the house they're still packed so much into this small space you can see right by the door you've got a clock which is one of the first stickers that you apply and you've even got these photos on the exterior wall on the right so 
when you come in you've got this nice little table with this plant pot and just above you have Carl's bedroom and the way they create the bed is quite nice it's sort of this quilt that has all these different colors and it's actually only a two by four brick underneath and they've just used these curved pieces to dangle off the edge and not quite touch the bottom so it's a very nice design they've got there and you've got this two brick high wall with the window because the roof is just these plates that have been clipped in with the shield pieces just at the top there so it's a great design for the roof i used a similar thing when i was creating my roof out of brown chairs so if you haven't seen that video check it out this is definitely a great technique for the roof and it continues to the other side only these are held on by hinges at the bottom which are just one brick up but upstairs we've got the tv which has another sticker on it and just at the back we have a little box with a book which of course is their adventure book and if you open it up you've got the once upon a time printed piece in there which isn't too rare it comes in a lot of disney sets but it's a very nice touch i do like the sticker that goes on the front of this the back of the book doesn't have anything special but this sits just in the crate at the back of the first floor so we'll slot that back in and you can see carl is surrounded with loads of photos first off you've got a big portrait on the wall here of the house you've also got his partner and a wedding photo and the other two on the wall this wall is created very nicely as it rounds off the house gives it the shape and also works as an interior the wall is only one brick wide which is lovely for the designers to have mastered and i think the walls are only clipped into each other with these one by two cheese slopes on the side just to fill any of the gaps that were there and you can see just past Carl you've got a letter in the window there I'll try and get a bit of light in there but this pot on the left if I can perhaps take out Carl we'll have a look at him in a second and this pot is the savings for Paradise Falls that they were trying to go to and you can see you've got all the money saved up at the back it's a great use of the printing as even if you look at it at an angle you can somewhat see the camera's not doing a good job but you can see the coins through the pot so it's smart that they've printed it on the back of this piece as you can see right through it but that sits in the window right next to Carl's chair and the minifigure for him is really good it does come with a dual sided head so you've got more of a bland expression and a happy expression and for the boy you've got an even more excited expression because there is no unhappy expression throughout pretty much all the movie and this piece at the front you have to be a little careful of I've just knocked it off but when it's on display it is really not a problem it just doesn't line up with the studs because of this panel at the top but as I was saying you've got the armchair that Carl can sit in and you've also got his walking cane I do think we should have got this piece at the bottom this roller skate piece in a green to represent the tennis balls that go on the bottom because that would have been funny but I do understand why they've gone with a grey perhaps it was a bit too odd that they didn't want to include it in the set and this piece that I've just broken on the sides is a gramophone that I built when putting together this set we did which I forgot to mention build this as a couple me and my fiance we both got our devices out and it was a bit difficult building it together. There wasn't exactly an instruction we had each. But it's this new service that Legos are trialling on their builders app. And it meant that we opened the first bag and we're building it together. But halfway through it got us to open the second bag. And before we were even done with that we ended up opening the third bag. So it's definitely something they're trying to work on. But it was a lot of fun searching for all the pieces. Especially when we had the multiple bags open. But taking a look at this gramophone for a second you can see that you've got this round two by two with a hole in the middle for the record which is what i've used when i created the cosmic daydream exclusive set recently on the channel and this is all actually built on the side with a bracket a brick and then a plate on top but we've got this nice frying pan piece which holds a miner's helmet which is the speaker for the set and this clips into the wall just on this pink brick here with this plate on the bottom holding it up so it is very handy and you got to make sure that the walking cane don't get in the way but all the builds in this are very neat you've got the lamp that does look very nice you've even got the desk with the chair that seems to be somewhat missing you've also got a compass on top which is definitely a piece i haven't seen too common and that again is a printed tile 
all the up specific pieces are stickered but you do get the odd printed tile in this set but overall the up house does look amazing and if we put the balloons back on you can just see how tall this set really is now i think this set definitely needs to be displayed in a bigger lego city next to some towers that just overhang the set but even if you don't have a lego city this will look amazing on your display and I would really recommend getting to and building the back because if you had this as some sort of centerpiece on a table it just looks very good it's not too big to get in the way but it's also big enough to make a statement of some sort you can see it's not in focus but the build isn't too large that it becomes annoying and is a lovely size and even though the price isn't too bad if you can pick this up on sale it's an amazing deal so Hopefully you enjoyed my review of the Up House. And if you did like the video, do drop a like. And if you want to see more reviews, custom builds and Lego releases when they come out, do subscribe to the channel. It helps us out and makes sure that you don't miss a video. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. May the bricks be with you always.